Hi everyone, it's Mara Dad. I hope everyone's doing great. And I just to miss everyone so much. Today we're going to be reading this story called Why Should I Help? And it's written by Claire Llewellyn and it's illustrated by Mike Gordon. Illustrated means that he drew the pictures. So like I said, the title of the story is Why Should I Help? Now, usually in school, we have our jobs. We all have our helper jobs, set the table, clean up a mess. But now that we're home, maybe we could start thinking of some ideas that you could do around the house to help. Why should I help? Let's start. Every morning at my house, there are jobs to be done. Making the beds, feeding the pets, and clearing away the breakfast dishes. So guys, maybe you could think of some jobs that you could do every morning, like making your bed, or maybe helping your mom make breakfast or clearing away the plates when you're done. Now sometimes the jobs could be easy or they could be a little bit hard that you wouldn't wanna do them, but they're all very important to do. And I'm sure your mom would really appreciate it. And there are even more jobs to do in the evening, like setting the table, doing the dishes, and helping to run the bath for Charlie. She doesn't look so happy, like we can see on her face. She looks a little bit mad. Sometimes I don't feel like helping. I wanna do something else instead, like finishing a drawing or watching TV, while her mom says, Susie, please help to clean up. Or, would you take this coffee up to dad for me? I'd rather play with the cat or talk to my friend Ben. And her mom still needs help because it's very hard to do things by yourself. Please pick up your things, Susie. Susie, could you help me fold this sheet? Why should I help other people? No one ever helps me. Dad said everyone needs a helping hand now and then. Remember what happened when you fell off your bike? That nice boy helped you come back home. And what happened when you forgot your costume at last year's Purim party? Mom rode home during her lunch break to get it. See, so the mom, she's busy at work, she has things to do, but she'll stop her whole day to help her daughter. And do you remember what happened that day when you lost Squeaky, her pet dog? Ben, Grandpa, Grandma, and I searched for him the whole afternoon, and I'm sure they had other things to do. But they helped her anyway, because they love her. It was all true. I did sometimes need a helping hand, and I suppose other people need one too, when they're busy or tired or just a bit slow. People help one another all the time. Like on a bus, when you see someone pregnant or holding something very heavy, you'll ask them if they would like to take your spot instead of you. So I'm going to help people too. Helping people makes me feel grown up and gives me a good feeling inside because people will thank you afterwards because you really, really did help them. And sometimes, just sometimes, there's an extra bonus for helping. Like the time I went shopping for my grandma and she had extra time to make me some pancakes. And those were her favorite. And because I fed the fish for Ben, he brought me back a present from his vacation. All sorts of people need help out there. So give someone a helping hand, who knows? The next person that might need help could be you. You could help somebody carrying heavy bags, doing homework, cleaning the dishes. There's so many different ideas and it's all up to you. The end. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that story. So we learned from the story that it's very important to help around. So what we are going to try to do together is to help around more in your house. So what you could do in order to help you remember to do this every day is 
to make yourself a chart, you could take a piece of paper. I use an index card, but you guys could use something bigger where you could write your name on top with your mom. You could help, she could help you do it. Where you could write, let's say your name is Sarah. You could write Sarah's Helper's Chart. And you could decorate it all around. And then you could write different things that you could help around your house. Like you could help take care of your little sister or brother. You can make your bed. So every time you make your bed, you could like make a check or put a sticker. And maybe after you get, let's say, 10 stars, 10 stickers, maybe you could get something as a reward. So you could get, try that and see how it works. So good luck.